what is the minimum material you need together to start aquaponics. This is what we're going to see together in this video. So if you haven't started aquaponics yet, uh, but are interested, this video is for you. In this video, we're going to see how to gather some equipment, some material, in order to start an aquaponics system with the lowest budget possible. So in this video, we are not going to talk about a complex aquaponics system. We're going to focus on simple backyard aquaponics system and specifically the flood and red grow bed aquaponic system. So your aquaponic system is going to be composed of six different parts that you need to collect. Uh, and once you got the six parts, you can build your aquaponic system. You need to build a bit of knowledge. So I recommend you to have a look uh, at the free aquaponics training on the description of the video uh, just below or in the I like information somewhere in the corner of the video. Uh, it's a step-by-step -step training to help you to build your aquaponics system in the best way possible, put it together and then uh, manage it uh, in a sustainable way to produce uh, healthy and tasty food in your own backyard. So in this video we're going to talk about the sixth part and the, the, the first one obviously is the fish tank. The fish tank is the base of your aquaponic system, it's on the bottom. Uh, it's the part that is going to obviously uh, hold uh, the the grow bed, the whole grow bed is sitting on top uh, and in this fish tank you will have water and you will have your fish so it needs to be a, a volume that is big enough, needs to be strong structure, needs to be food grade so when you collect the, the, the fish tank you need to make sure there were no chemicals inside before uh, you want to make sure as well it's not made in iron because if it's a metal uh, tank uh, it may release some particles into the water and it may affect uh, your fish, your bacteria or your plants. So stay away from metals. If you really want to use metal, you will have to use a liner inside to avoid the water to be in direct contact. So in terms of uh, fish tank, you can collect uh, IBCs, you know, they are uh, industri industrial bulk tank uh, container. Uh, you can find them quite uh, easily in most of the countries, in factories. Uh, otherwise you can use a bin, you can use a lot of different materials. Some people use a bathtub, whatever it is. Just make sure that when you get the fish tank, the size is approximately twice the size of your grow bed. So you will need two tanks, one for the fish tank, one for the grow bed. The fish tank will be twice the size of the grow bed. In terms of height, you want a minimum of 45 centimeters of height. So it's quite simple, you can reuse, recycle some old equipment or you can buy a new one. It depends on your budget, but if you are on a low uh, budget, you can definitely recycle something. Just have a look around, uh, take the time that uh, it needs. Uh, but one day you will probably find uh, a tank that is, will be adapted to this special need. In terms of grow bed now, the part number two is the grow bed. So the grow bed is the part that is sitting on top of the fish tank. In the grow bed, uh, we'll have some media and uh, we'll have our plants growing. So the grow bed is going to act as the filter of the, of the aquaponic system, right? A biological filter, a mechanical filter as well sometimes. So uh, in terms of size for the grow bed, we want it, as I say, half the size of uh, the fish tank. So when I talk about size, I'm talking about volume. Uh, the crow bed uh, volume has to be half the size of the fish tank. That's just an approximation simply because all the water you raise into the crow bed at one point is going to fall down back into the fish tank. Fish tank needs to be able to hold all this volume of water. And when the water is up into the crow bed, well, you need to have enough water for your fish because what we are using here is a flood and drain system. So it's the, the level of water in the fish tank is going uh, in the grow bed is going up and down. So at one point, all the water will be in the fish tank. That's why we want the grow bed to be half the size of the fish tank. 
Same as for the fish tank, uh, the crow bed tank needs to be uh, uh, of good structure, needs to hold together. It needs to be food grade, that's very important. Again, don't use anything that had any chemical inside that was not food grade. And also stay away from concrete or any substance that may affect the pH of your water. You know, concrete uh, has limestone inside and it may definitely affect the pH of your water, increase the pH, which then will make uh, the, the aquaponic system quite difficult to manage. So stay away from uh, this type of material. Uh, try to work with uh, plastic that is food grade uh, or uh, just use a liner in any other type of uh, tank. Even if it's concrete, you can put a liner inside, a simple pond liner. It's going to help you to keep the, uh, the, the tank waterproof, but also to avoid any contacts with uh, the material of, uh, of the tank. Then you will need a water pump. So in terms of water pump, we will need a pump that is able to move the total volume of the grow bed twice per hour. So we are talking about water flow. And you know the water flow of a water pump depends on the height where uh, the pump has to move the water. You know, if you move the water 10 meters high, the water flow is going to be very small. Even for some pump, it's going to be zero. Uh, but if it's very low, if it's only 10 centimeters above uh, the level of water, it's going to be higher. So that's how you, uh, you have to take this in consideration when you choose your pump. You need a pump that is, will be able to move a water flow of twice the volume of the grow bed. Then you will need a bell siphon. The bell siphon needs to be perfectly adapted to the size of the water pump. You know that uh, sometimes you can build a, be a bell siphon by yourself, but you can also buy them online. When you buy a bell siphon, make sure it's adapted to the water pump you have, otherwise it's not going to work. You know, some bell siphon are limited, and if there is not enough water, the bell siphon is not going to start. And if there is uh, too much water for the bell siphon, the bell siphon is never going to stop. So uh, the, the flood and drain system is not going to work properly. Then uh, the part number five is not really a, really a part, but that's the media that we're going to put inside our grow bed. So here uh, in my tank, I use a scoria, which is a little uh, volcanic rock, a uh, very small rock. And uh, that's what I recommend uh, you to use. It's volcanic rock because it's porous, it's light. It offers a very large surface for the bacteria. So the aim of this media is obviously to allow the plants uh, to develop their roots on, but also to afford a nice surface for the bacteria to live on it. So um, I don't really recommend to use pebbles because the surface area is very small. I recommend to use scoria, volcanic rock, porous rock, so it can be also called Fuzolan wherever you, you, you live. Or it can have different names, but the idea is to have a volcanic rock that is porous and it's not going to release any chemical or any um, particle in, into the water. For example, if you use any simple gravel, sometimes you get limestone inside. Limestone can definitely affect the pH of your water, so you don't want to work with this type of media. Make sure you work with the media um, that, is, um, that is not going to affect the quality of the water, basically. And finally, you have the possibility to add a little air pump into your aquaponic system. So it's a point number six. Uh, it's not a, a real requirement. If you use just few goldfish at a low density, you're going to be able to run the system without any air pump. But I really recommend you to add an air pump because it's going to allow your fish to feel very comfortable into the fish tank and to have enough oxygen. Now, if you want to grow fish that are a bit more um, uh, expecting a bit more oxygen into the water and consume a bit more oxygen such as trout. It is definitely required to add an, an air pump on top of the water pump that you're going to have. 
Um, so that's a point number six. Uh, you can buy an air pump design for aquariums or for fish pond. Uh, it's not very expensive. Uh, you can sometimes get find some second hand one, um, and it's really going to help your fish to be in good conditions into the water. That was the six uh, parts that you need to build your aquaponic system. Once you gather all of them, you can put the aquaponic system together. Again, to put it together, I really recommend you to have a look at uh, the free aquaponics training, the six, step, six steps uh, training that is uh, in the description just below, completely free. And after that, you will need some other things such as buying the fish, buying uh, the plants uh, and you will need also uh, some equipment to be able to test uh, the quality of your water. Uh, also some fish food to feed your fish. So there is a bit of, uh, of things to find around, but uh, the six things that I just uh, explained is in this video, the, the six uh, materials, uh, that's really what you will need in order to start your first aquaponic system. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. If you are new to this channel, you can uh, subscribe to the uh, to the channel. I release a video every week. I try to release a video every week and in this video I would like to emphasize that uh, if you need some information please post it in the comment. Tell me what you need to, to learn more uh, because uh, at the moment I think I have covered many uh, topics about aquaponics and uh, I may slow down. I got a lot of projects going on the side so I may do a bit less video unless I got some requirements if you need something just uh, give me a comment and let me know what you need in terms of video in this case if I have some demand I'm gonna make more videos my aim is to help you but I just want to I don't want to make video just to make videos it's really to help the community so if you have some problems uh, uh, starting your aquaponic system let me know and then obviously I will make all the videos and I will take the time to help you but if it's not required if you think I have uh, produced enough video and you find the support that you need uh, in those free videos or in the training that I offer uh, then I, I'm gonna maybe slow down into the numbers of videos so it's really uh, up to you uh, if you need something let me know otherwise uh, maybe I'm gonna do a bit less um, you can also give a like to the video if you liked it, I, uh, I hope that's the okay. case, so give it a like, it always uh, helps me. And i see you in the next video, bye bye! Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!